this is the first in a small series on echinoderms. And the videos that we're gonna be doing on echinoderms are actually intended to simply build upon some of the videos that are available to you already in a presentation. Um, those videos are awesome, the content is awesome, the explanations are awesome. The only deficiencies are that sometimes they didn't have the capability to zoom in more closely to really look at some of the things. So you can see where they're pointing but you can't really see the stuff. So since you're not going to have critters of your own to look at, we're going to do that for you, right? And so, but man, look at those other videos because they are amazing. Okay, so echinoderms. The two echinoderms on your assignment for dissection are the sea urchin and the starfish, the sea star. Okay, so what they both have in common is the fact that they've got this for bilaterally symmetrical animals, for bilaterians, they have this kind of crazy, like not bilateral symmetry. It's radial, um, and it's, they, it's called pentaradial. So because even on the sea urchin, although it's explicitly round, you can see that the patterning that's even evident on the skin, okay, the patterning is in um, patterns of five. So one, two, three, four, Five. And that's going to be true in all of the echinoderms, five or multiples of five. And that's really conspicuous in the sea star with five arms. Some sea stars have 20 arms, so it's five or multiples of five. So where is the bilateral symmetry? Well, it's developmental. It's found um, in the strongly bilateral larval forms. And then when the larvae settle, when they um, mature, metamorph uh, settle and metamorphose, then what happens to that strong anterior posterior axis um, the mouth right that was at the posterior end is what's called at the oral side right and then the anus is going to be on the ab oral side and so we can see that here okay in the urchin the same is going to be true in the c star so way down there, let me get the sunlight just right there. You can see all the way down into the mouth there at the very base of all of the arms. So that's going to be on the oral side and that's homologous with the mouth of the larva. And then on the ab oral side, okay, that's where the anus is going to be. And so the anus is right, is going to be right about in here. Okay, it's hard to see the anus on um, actually both of these guys, but especially on the star. So let's go ahead and do some external anatomy on the star and then we'll just do the sea urchin in another video. So external anatomy from for the ab oral side is that got conspicuously, you know, this hard, um, hard skin and it's actually, these are actually plates that are from mesoderm under the skin, um, the epidermis. Okay, is on top and some of the soft material it's hard at least for me it's hard to distinguish what's epidermis from what's also some um, the lining of the coelom poking up that's doing going to be doing gas exchange here as well we do have some soft tissue here okay then this feature right here that's called the madreporite and that's involved in um, exchanging seawater that and it's the seawater that's really the stuff inside the water vascular system which how, is how these guys move again the great videos about that modeling great animation about the water vascular system so let's turn this guy over to the oral side okay and then we can see that emanating from the mouth okay we have this really strong groove right th um, through the you know through the um, the middle of the length of each of the arms that's called the ambulacral groove and then on either side of the ambulacral groove you can also see that we have several rows of spines okay and for those of you guys who might have been doing um, echinoderms for your project you know that that's going to be a key character how many rows of spines how long are the spines etc um, also emanating okay along the ambulacral groove in the aboral surface we also see a whole bunch of these see if those moving around you can see that they're flexible those are the tube feet and you can see also if we get the light right because it looks really good to me i'm not sure if it's going to look good to you but let's zoom in on the, the kind of cup like okay you can see that that's concave the surface of that is concave motorcycle going by all right um so in the ambulacral groove we have tube feet we have spines and then we have these denticles and i think that does it for the external anatomy of the sea star